good morning from Brisbane. That toss you saw was the actual toss between Simpson and Beatty just a few moments ago, and it's great news for Australia. Simpson has won the toss. Australia will bat. Kim Hughes is the 12th man. That means that New South Wales batsman Tui comes into this first test team. And for India, good news for them too. Both their doubtful players, that's Prasanna the spinner, and Sonny Gavaskar will take their place, and Venkat will be 12th man for India. Umpire O'Connell at this end, umpire Brooks standing at square leg. And we're ready now for the first ball of the first test. It's right on 11 o'clock here in Brisbane. First ball, Martin Lyle to bowl to Hibbert. And that one moved away a lot. That's an inswinger to the left-hander. And I notice that uh, in this good light out there now, it's an overcast day that Cozier has decided to bat straight away without a hat, without a cap on. He walked out with a cap on, but he's taken it off. And that's Gary Cozier, Australia's new open, the surprise selection or the surprise man in the order in this Australian team. And that one did go away the other way. Good ball. Well, he's doing a bit both ways, as we say. That was a very good delivery. And that's the end of the first over. A maiden to open proceedings here in Brisbane. So, Armanath to Cozier. An appeal for leg before, disallowed, and Cozier had to flick that ball away. That fell down behind his pads and was, pads was rolling back slowly towards the stumps. You saw immediately how that's right, much greener this end, uh, the end arm and I was bowling to, and uh, as I say, I keep repeating, but this Thompson, getting back to Thompson, <laughs> you can see what arm and he just rolls his arm over what he's doing. And you can imagine what Tomo would be doing out here. And he flicked at that one very close to an outside edge. That's uh, the end of the over. That's um, a good opening for India in terms of <coughs> holding the batsman down. Two maiden overs to start this first test. Hibbert taking strike. Now that is a run. Let's see if that was off the bat. It's the first one of the match. Umpire O'Connell changing his decision. He's declared that a dead ball, so Australia hasn't scored at all yet. Well, I don't know. I'd like to see that. I thought he played, and I thought I heard something like a snick. Interesting. There was some noise that definitely came up here. I thought it was quite a legitimate uh, run, really. Or uh, a run should have been recorded. So, still none for none. And this is a run, the first run of the game. Down to Chandra Shaker. So Hibbert is one. That run took 15 minutes to score, and there's a view of this reasonably good crowd here on the first day. And notice that everybody there, or most of them in shorts and summer clothing. It's uh, although it's overcast, it's very warm and humid. Now that's a run. There's no fieldsman there. Possibly two if they want it. They're going for one, and one only. They're happy. And the shaker coming round from the Whitwicket area to field. So Hibbert is two. Cozier yet to score. Australia none for two. Just waiting now for Prasanna to move down a long way to deep fine leg. Prasanna at 37 is the oldest member of the Indian team, but not the oldest man on the field, on the, in the match. And there's Cozy with that no backlift. Good shot. Right through the mid wicket area. No apparent effort. They've taken two. Let's see if Cozy wants a third. He doesn't, I don't think. No, two only. And Cozy, with that uncanny ability, with no backlift at all force that ball away through on the onside to get two so he's two total four and away it goes for a mid wicket well played by Cozier that's the first ball and listen to that crowd so Cozier on to six it's none for eight and that was only a fraction short of a length and here's the replay Short arm jab, got it up there. Plenty of open space, it's a very good stroke. And a good ball. Wow. 
What a beautiful ball that was. That was a real ripper. One here. Man down a deep, fine leg. It's Chandra. Yes, the rain's starting to come down heavier again. So we might see another break. Most unusual weather for Brisbane at this time of year, as we've said before. And we are coming off with the score at none for 11. Kozia 7, Hibbert 4. Well, Bobby Simpson, it must have been a great toss to win. Well, it's one which uh, I wanted to win, but now having looked at the wicket, uh, it's a bit live. It would have been also good for our quickest to bowl on, but uh, I don't think we could have taken the risk. It's, this wicket uh, over the last week has had a history of spinning. And with the Indian spinners on the side, obviously we've got to take advantage of the uh, wicket when it's going to be at its top. But it's lively, it's seeming around. And I think Tomo might have been pretty interesting on it. Because the Australian run rate hasn't been helped by these two breaks in play, but they're down well below two runs and over at the moment. This is the eighth over and only 11 runs have been scored. Oh. And Hibbert very nearly playing that back onto his stumps. Well, he was going to let that ball go and then changed his mind. Must have hit it right down on the bottom of the face of the bat, judging from the way it came down. Played it straight down into the ground and uh, very close to his off stump. There'll be runs to Kozia there, Ben Sarka, the fieldsman who's chasing it, also Prasanna, they're going back for two. And it's Prasanna who, uh, rather, Ben Sarka who slipped over. And there's the third run. Enough moisture in the pitch to get quite some considerable movement on occasions. And runs to Cozier, ball puts on his legs. Sandra Seiko, the fieldsman, at fine leg. Batsmen have two. Offside field has been strengthened, only three slips in the gully, as well as a cover and mid-off. Yes, well, this will mean that Madden Lal can pitch the ball further up, invite the batsman to drive, and hope for a little bit more movement. It was short enough for Cozy to hook the four. That's a better one. That was a good delivery. It really came back from outside the off stump, like a fast off break. Oh, and just wide of Armanaf, who made a great attempt. The ball, I don't think, will get to the fence. Returning for the third run. There goes Kozia's bat in the air. And caught a third slip, Martin Lyle. Caught by Martin Lyle at third slip, and Kozia very disappointed. That was a bad shot. Kozia caught Martin Lyle, bowled Armanaf for 19, and the first Australian wicket has fallen. There's Ogilvy's first ball in Test cricket. And now we have a wicket with a little bit of life in it that's posing a, a fair problem for Ogilvy in his first test. And played and missed. Ogilvy still yet to get off the mark. And has done so. Being chased by Martin Lyle for third slip. And I think the ball's gone into the fence. Yes, Martin Lyle signalling that that was four. Slide to no avail, and uh, I think he might have. Uh, He's hurt himself. Hurt himself. He's got his foot trapped, I think. Yes, I think his foot might be caught under the sign. Is it? Yes. Four to Ogilvy takes him to four, and it's one for 28. I don't know whether Matt Miles hurt himself, but. Uh, no. <laughs> he hasn't hurt himself, he's just uh, gone through the sign. And Sovers looks heads. Nobody down there, third man, so that's four. One for 33 at the end of uh, Amanath's sixth over. 33 runs off 12 overs. 
And uh, Hibbert on nine, Ogilvy on five. Armin are six overs, two maidens, one for 20, with nine coming off that over. Beatty's coming on to bowl. And look at the close field setting in a minute, too, as Beatty bowls to Ogilvy. Caught a slip, I think, yes, caught by Vishwanath. Well, caught well, by well. Vishwanath at slip. Ogilvy caught by Vishwanath off Beatty's first ball for five, one, or rather two for 33, Australia. And that really must have spun. Here it is again. We see that ball delivered from wide on the crease, arcing in, and you could see that ball spin. It really did spin. What a remarkable thing on the first ever test match to see a ball, the very first ball from a slow spinner, turn like that. So that's to come after lunch. Now here's Beatty continue, continuing his first over, bowling to Sergeant. And that one spun, spun quite a lot. Oh, well. I've seen something. This is the first morning. There's only been a little play this morning, and that ball, as you could see, it really spun. In the first morning, first morning, it's a lot of spin. Again, oh. spun viciously. Beautiful ball from Barry. Well, look at that one again. Now we'll see the replay of this. Just watch the spin. Beautifully, right on, right on line, right on spot. Well, he's getting through his over so quickly that. Um, We'll just hold up these replays for a moment through this slow bowlers over. But look at the field now. Three slips and a silly point. Now there's an attacking field on the first day of the game. In the very early part of the first day too. It's Man Cad who's moved in very close and the three slips are Vishwanath. We'll just pick them up in a moment. And look at that turn, that's a chance, he's caught, yes, he's out. Caught by Wish, that was, let's see who caught that. The second slip, I would say, would be Gavaska. Caught by Gavaska, Bowl Beatty. Beatty has two wickets in his first over. Australia, three for 33. Well, how do you account for this? Here you have the fast bowlers. What's the spin? It lands outside the leg stump. Just watch it spin, and what's a brilliant catch. What's this catch? Beautiful case, left-handed. Simpson to face his first ball. Three slips, silly point, short forward leg. Lady to Simpson. And to the covers, no run, out to Patel. Well, that's lucky for Bobby. That is one of the rather short ball and gave him plenty of time to see it. And that one didn't spin. Well played by Simpson. Going down towards the boundary, it won't be four. They've taken two, fielded by Chandra Shaker, and two to Simpson. Uh, th those are the first runs scored by Simpson, and the first runs scored off Beatty, and the scoreboard still showing Tui as the batsman, but that's not Tui, that's Bob Simpson. Two short legs now. And in the air, beautiful shot out towards the boundary. Sailing out towards the fence, it will be four. Yes, four to Simpson. Well played. And Bobby Simpson showing aggression. He was lucky to get away with that. It got a top edge and just went over the field for the deep to a backward square. Um, and what's this Bobby doesn't quite get when you see the ball go up in the air? Well, Beatty, one over. Two for six, his wick figures. And what an over that was to start a test match. And there could be runs here, yes, a single. So Hibbert to 10, Australia, three for 40. And you notice now, the shadows of the players were in reasonably bright sunshine. And again, runs by Simpson, turned down to fine leg. Sana Fielding. And that's a good shot from Hibbert. Turned nicely off his toes. Chandra Shaker coming round from mid-on. They've taken two. And there's a fine throw. But two to Hibbert. He goes on now to 12. Simpson is seven. And the total moves up to 43. Mr. Bailey to build his second over has the Outstanding figures of two for six. Simpson, the batsman. And caught. Yes, he's out. Simpson 
Kurt Gavaska, Bol Beatty for seven. Australia four for 43, and Beatty has three for six. Well, that's a mind over matter job there. I was going to make the little remark that Bobby Simpson is not going to be chained to the crease. He's going to get down and try to belt away those open his shoulders and belt away the fieldsman. Well, he got down there, but he didn't go through with his shot. He got there and sort of made a stab, and it wasn't uh, the vintage uh, Simpson shot. I noticed in Sydney, Bobby was getting down the pitch, the half volley uh, to the spinners, and getting it on the half volley, and rather than hitting the ball hard, he sort of blocked his shot. Three slips, a silly point, short forward leg, five fieldsmen crouched around the bat, Beatty to Tui. And a run. Now, just look at this short onside field. I don't think you've ever seen anything like this before. You've got a field of three men in a straight line just away to the left. Now, look at them. That's the short close or the onside field. Now, there's a chance. It's cool there for out. Not out, says umpire O'Connell. You know, well, uh, there seems to be very confident appeal by everybody around the bat. And, um, of course, we cannot tell from up here. But they're most confident every man around the bat went up. And the run, there's no body in that second slip or short point area now with uh, so many men on the onside. So Hibbert to 13 and the Australian score slowly up to 45. Australia, four for 45. It's a tight old, tight old slip cord in there. One, two, three, four within a couple of yards of the bat. And he's into that one, yes, over mid wicket or out towards spare leg. It might just make the fence, it will. And beaten. And he's out, yes. He got a very faint edge to that. Pivot caught Kermani. Bold Amana for 13. Australia, 5 for 49. It must have been a very faint outside edge, but Australia has lost its fifth wicket. That's strange. There didn't seem to be much of an appeal at all by the fieldsman. And um, normally the whole team go up when you get a faint tickle or even a... Hey, what's the bowler? Let's see if he goes up. Well, the wicket keeper's gone up. Wait a moment. This is a batting change. This is the left-hand of man coming in next in place of Rickson. This is the leg spinner from Western Australia. Well, well outside the off stump. Now, is there a, a tactical point here, Keith, bringing in a left-hander? That seems to be the only way I could think to try and come back Betty. Now, it's Betty to Tui. And crack through the covers. Good shot. That looks like four. Yes, he waited for that one. Tui on to nine. And that's the 50 up for Australia. Australia 5 for 53. And in the air, wide of the third slip, down to the fence for four. And runs. It's a, a chase out there for Patel who's coming across from cover. They've taken two. Let's see if they're going for the third. They are. Here's the return on the way. And they've got a run here. They've, yes, they've made it. It was a, just a wide return to Kamani. And man safely home, but Tui has kept the strike. And Tui is 14 at the end of the over. Man is 7. Australia, 5 for 65. Your ball to Tui. And pull through mid-wicket. That mightn't be 4. He wasn't quite onto it. They've taken one coming back for 2. The return from Chandrasekhar. Now, that ball appeared to do something peculiar in the outfield. It, was, it hit something and it stopped as it was running along, but still they made two. But it wasn't a well-timed shot from Tui. Well-placed, but not well-timed. He's 16, 5 for 67. And Bassamp, is he? No, not out. <laughs> well, well, what action that was. Well, that was a let off. It, <laughs> it's a bit awkward one, that, for the wicket keeper, because he got forward and made a yorker of the ball. And um, you watch him make a York and down. The wicket keeper doesn't see it for quite a while. Now he gets on his back feet and he can't get forward quickly enough.
It's out towards the square. They got 12 plays. It'll beat the field. It was beautifully timed. Well, a deep square leg, a deepish mid wicket. He placed it very effectively between the two. And it wasn't too far away from that deep square leg, but it's gone into the fence for four. He's 13, five for 76. Fine shot. Beautiful shot. That's the best shot played all day. I wouldn't worry about chasing that. 2 e 24 And that's the first authentic drive we've seen in this whole game. And appeal the leg before. That's out. Yes, there's no doubt there. Man, leg before to Martin Lau for 19. Tui is not out 25. Australia, 6 for 90. In the air, but safe. His run's here. Mancat has a long chase from deep fine leg. Just picking up the ball now. As the batsmen go back for their third. So three to Steve Rickson. He's four. And the Australian 100 comes up. Swept. And four runs. Right in the middle of the bat. There is a man down there on the fence, Martin Lal. So some danger in the shot if you lift it. But Rickson got away with it. He's nine, six for 107. And Martin Lull is backward of square, right on the fence. That could be out. Yes, bat pad. Caught by Amanath. Rickson caught Amanath. Bold Beatty for nine. Australia seven for 107. And Beatty has four for 33. Well, Rickson's annoyed with himself, but I don't see why. It doesn't seem to me that he could do much about that. That's a pretty good delivery. Here it is again. And you can see that the ball is pitching in line with the leg stump. And in fact, Rickson had to play at it. And Clark's off the mark. Just behind Bing Sarker, it's short forward leg. Could be caught. He's out. Well, that was a great catch. Probably the ball was not hit as cleanly as you might have expected from uh, first impressions. It probably came off the glove. Let's have a look at it again. A short pitch delivery. Bouncing high. A genuine attempt at a pull or even a hook. And it was very high on the bat, wasn't it? And it travelled not as fast as one would expect to that short leg position. And it was knocked up and taken again. By Sonny Gavaska, the catcher. So, Clark out, caught Gavaska, bowled Chandra Saker for four. And Chandra has one for none. And the applause for the most popular man in Queensland cricket, Jeff Thompson. There's a run. And so Thompson won. Eight for 113. <laughs> Plenty of time to pick where he's going to hit that. It's first bounce into the fence for four runs. And the full toss has cracked through the covers. Glorious shot. That was a perfect cover drive. And in the air again, sailing out towards the boundary. It's dropping inside the fence. It's slowly going into the boundary fence for four more. Two to 47. And bowled him. Yes, clean bowled him. Thompson bowled by Chandra for three. Tui not out 48. Australia nine for 132. And here's the replay coming up. I think it's the batsman's fault rather than the bowler's good delivery. I think he just missed a straight delivery. There you are, right on the middle stump. So Beatty bowls to Tui. 
And it oh. goes in the air. He could be caught. He could be caught. Now it's safe. They've taken one. They'll take two only. Prasanna couldn't get back to it. And that's his 50. Well played, Tui. Tui, a half century in his first test match. This time a good shot. Yes, over the head of the covers. Quite safe. Going out towards the fence. And it's going into the fence, is it? And it's... Yes, four. Tui, 54. Nine for 138. Six off the over so far. And I've got an idea that this young man is going to be around on the test match scene for a few years to come. And that's gone, a beautiful shot. That's a six. Magnificent hit. It cleared the golf track. It cleared the golf track. Oh, the dogs are barking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we'll pick the winner for today. Huh? The dog's not on. Watch, he picks it on the up and a beautiful stroke. Hits in the middle and as Norman said, cleared the dog track. It's a big hit out there. So Chandra is bowling to Tui. And it's down to the third man. There's no one there. That could be four. No one there. Four more. And there it goes straight down the ground. Beautiful shot. What a shot. And that's going out towards the deep square leg area. That well, slowly they could run three. They might run three here. This would be great stuff if they do. Yes, they're coming back for a third. Well played, Tui. Well, I don't know whether you can aim for three runs in cricket, Pete, but he's done it. And played well, that's down towards the boundary. That could be four. It's getting down towards the fence. It's going to be close, but they might take three. And it's... No, they've taken three only. Yes, a four. Four runs, yes, into the fence again. And he's oh. beaten, bowled. Yeah, oh, he's out this time. Stumped, I'd say. Yes, it's all over. It's a magnificent performance to finish with 82. Tui, 82, taking up the last stand from 132 to 166. He scored all of those runs. And here's the ovation for Peter Tui. A very fine performance indeed. And as Tui leaves the scene... And there he is, Peter Tui. 82 in his first test match. So Clark to Ben Sucker. And runs here. There's nobody in that onside area at all. A long chase for Cozier from forward short leg, and they take two. So Ving Sarka is two. And that's a good shot. That's going out through the long mid-wicket area. A long chase for Cozier. Now, there's a possibility they could almost run four here, but they'll get three easily, but now there won't be four. So I think they'll take a comfortable three. And a fine shot. That's a long chase this time for Hurst. Coming back for the second. Let's see if they want three. Yes, Gabaska is turning. They're going. So three to Kavaska. Ben Sarka five. None for eight. And he wasn't too happy with that one. That was a very nasty short ball from Thompson. And a chance, and dropped by Simpson. Dropped. Simpson got his left hand to it. And is that a chance? He's out. Yes. Kavaska <laughs> caught Cozier. Bold Clark for three. Van Sarka not out eight. One for 11. And Clark, who was the surprise bowler to open the and share the new ball with Thompson, has one for 10. Well, here's the replay. I think it comes off his pad, it gets up and comes back and hits his body. It, oh, what to do, it's very hard if we gets covered. It uh, got very nastily and uh, possibly came off the uh, hand, I would think. One for 13, Namanath yet to score. Vinsaka is 10 and Clark has now bowled three overs, one maiden and taken one for 10.
That's off. So maybe it was Thompson that made the difference. Well, I think it was. I'm firmly convinced it was. And Thompson's very surprised. He has not moved. At his, he has now, but he hadn't moved. He was at his bowling mark ready to come in, and he's very disappointed with that decision. So there's uh, the position, one for 13. When Saka on 10, Armanath yet to score, one for 13. Gavaska, the batsman out, who has caught Cozier, bowled Clark for three. Caught Cozier, bowled Clark for three. That wicket falling when the score was 11. And uh, the umpires have decided that play should not continue because of bad light, and now the players are leaving the field. The umpires have decided this, so the players are leaving the field.